What's up, everybody? It is Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. I'm in South Florida with this young man, Paul Cafaro, hey. for, for two reasons. Number one, we're here to celebrate Paul one million. One mil, baby. That is so sick. One million subscribers this guy just hit. And he did that in like a year and a half's time, right? Yeah, a little after. A little after. That a year, blows yeah. my mind. I met Paul just over a year ago, and you had about 100,000 subs. Uh -huh. Now you've got a million. Like, what am I it's doing crazy. wrong? It's not even doing anything <laughs> wrong, man. I'm kidding. It's and just, I gotta drawing. thank I gotta thank you right now for all the help you've given me to get this channel where it's no at problem, because uh, without do. that we would not be where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that. And all the fans of, of Paul, thanks for being here. But today we are gonna build you another pond. So we built like at the new house though. New, so new we house. We built three at the other one. Yeah, my parents' house. You're at a brand new house now. Yeah. This is the kid's 18 years old. He has a house. <laughs> like what the heck? A house? All right, so we're gonna build a, a pond in the front yard, right? Yep. So I want you to run us through what your vision is yep. and then how we're gonna bring this together. Okay. All right, I've got our spray paint and I'm gonna kind of show you all what, what, what I'm thinking. So when, this is all gonna be a gate, right? Covered with bushes. When you're coming up the driveway, the main goal was in the first place, I wanted one maybe right there. Then I was like, yeah, that tree drops a lot of little noodle things. I don't know. Well, I don't know what they're called, but they, it drops a lot of them and the pond will be filled with them. So that wasn't the goal after that. We went with spot number one, and that is right here. So as you're coming up the driveway, you're gonna see this right here. Uh, I have no idea shape-wise. I'm just gonna do what I think. And you guys have already mentioned some stuff last night. Maybe the bio falls being out here and kind of turning back this way. So we're gonna the bio falls right here, drop down, and then kind of take that turn, and then it opens up to where the fish can go, and then skimmer out right there. Here's what we talked about last night, I think, right? So walking in the front of the house, like here's the front door. You've got this little walkway here. Well, you'll be right next to the pond as yeah. you enter the house and over on that side when Paul mentioned the biofalls That's where we're gonna start the waterfall. So Paul, let's talk about the waterfall real quick. Yeah, yeah What would you like to see as far as a waterfall over here in my opinion right here? Like to have the biofalls like you mentioned Jack the office window is right there So if you were to roll say roll up the blinds, you'll be you're gonna be seeing that waterfall coming down Then you could take that turn right here which then drops down and gives you that view from the outside. So if you're coming up the driveway, you get this view of the waterfall and still see some of this, but then if you're inside from either bedroom, you see that biofall. I like it, so that's gonna be cool. Let me let me introduce these two guys that, have, that are walking around in the frame <laughs> with cameras. Yeah, My good friend, Ralph Bezad, Pondscapes AZ, and... The bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I th this, guy, this guy by far is the most talented filmmaker out of everybody standing here. Uh, Weston from Tussie Landscaping. If you guys haven't seen these two and their YouTube channels, where are we at, Weston? Tussie Landscaping. Tussie Landscaping yeah. and... Pondscapes AZ. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't really have to go see Ralph, but <laughs> I want you to see Weston's stuff. Thanks, I'm Jack. kidding, of course. I love Ralph. All right, guys, we are going to get started, lay this pond out, and do some excavation with that guy over there. And, and later on in this video, we got Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and his father, Gary, showing up here to help with the finishing touches. Let's get it going. important we have removed all the grass here we want to get rid of all that organic vegetation it's not good for backfill underneath the waterfall because it decomposes it'll start settling and that's when you'll have problems in your stream and waterfall so all the grass has been stripped now Polly can respray his dream pond in the front yard and then we can start digging and I get to refill and get to work I mean look at all these look <laughs> one two three four cameras all we're good for is the cameras who's gonna shovel here Jack. <laughs> <laughs> We are looking so good right now. We've got our excavation done. You see we've got one shelf on the top here, which is about 12 inches deep. And in the bottom, we're down to 24. Got a nice shape here. So when 
you walk along the sidewalk this will be straight down to the bottom with rock work there's our skimmer plumbing's installed ralph's just doing some backfilling over there and there is our biofalls ready to be shaped for our waterfall and stream section now we can put our underlayment in get the liner and start rocking this thing out <laughs> so we're basically done rocking in the pond. Ralph is just fixing up that bowl, leveling it up, and then we're going to gravel that. Lights are in. Next, we're I'm working on shaping out the stream excavation here. As soon as that excavation is shaped out the way we want, we're going to flip this streamliner back and start setting a rock in here. So we're probably going to get that done tomorrow. So what we got is a patio bowl set, and that's going to be a little extra feature for for the pond. So we'll, the water will come out this way. We're going to fill this up with gravel. He's got some elephant ears that are over on the side of the house. That'll look beautiful once those fill in and bloom. So I've got to foam some of these rocks in to really secure that and then fill it up with gravel and we'll be rocking. So Gary Whitstock, Greg's father, showed up. He's going to give us a hand tomorrow, All right, Gary? Yes, sir. Greg is coming tonight, so we're going to have some, some good times tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to finish Paul's Pond, get it up and running, and see what he has to say. See you in the morning. Day two, a little foggy this morning. I got Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, here to help us finish the pond. Greg, what do you think? Well, I think you guys got all the hard work done. You left the fun stuff for me. I love it. Building the waterfalls in the stream, landscaping it up. We're going to have this whole thing landscaped today, right? We're, we're not letting you build the waterfall. I, I was waiting for a setup. <laughs> it's like the perfect setup. <laughs> all right, so the plan is, wow, it rained a lot last night. This is the biofalls, obviously. It's going to pour off here. Jack's little uh, rocking skills, supposedly he's good at rocking, I don't know. But you, we're gonna pool it up right here. This is gonna be like a pool of water. It's then gonna fall down this way, which then gives you a view from this window right behind me here. That's the office where my mom works. Then it goes straight down again, pools this way, and then drops off through here, which gives you that view from the driveway. So two different little pooling drops and uh, it's gonna look awesome. Then we're gonna landscape up all here. We're gonna build a fire pit with a retention wall rock around the backside. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. Hand hug? Yeah. Hand hug. Oh my god. Wait. Well, oh, okay. Hug. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> As it happens with these YouTube builds, there's always more celebrities that show up, and we've got Kenan Harkin from Camp Ken in here. I'm just surveying uh, Paul's Paul's um, pond. I feel like a jerk now that I'm a camera sitting down. No two ponds are the same, so you can appreciate just the adaptability of what it takes to build these things. So the more ponds you do, the more situations you're faced with, and I'm trying to learn as much as I can because I'm not just a customer. I'm a client or something like that. Is that like hair club for men? Because I would love some hair, but I ain't got it. So anyway, I'm just trying to just learn. I just want to learn, man. I love this stuff. We're actually going to visit Kenan's house on the next video. We're going to see his brand new swim pond, which is amazing. So make sure you check that out. We are now washing the pond down so that all the muck and clay goes down to the bottom. And then we can get our uh, pump and pump it all out as we put clean water in so that when we end up filling it all the way up, all right, it's all clean. It. All right, so things are going great. We're almost done. We're going to be finishing off grading around the uh, stream that we just finished building. Everything's in place. We just got to finish the details with the gravel. Paul is washing the thing down, so we're pretty close to putting water in here, and uh, we should be able to plug this thing in within an hour. Hey, Austin and Paul, can you come here a second? We all want to say congratulations on your <laughs> 
The guys wanted to make sure they shared with you. That is amazing, Paul. Thank really you. great job. Goodness. Oh! That looks insane, dude. That's like the first initial look in the morning and I am blown away. I, I, is this real? Is this real life? All right, guys, this team pulled this pond together two days. We probably could have got it done in a little less than two, but <laughs> we waited for Greg to help us with the waterfall. I'm like speechless, man. I mean, that, this is insane. I think, personally, I think every pond's amazing in its own way, but I think this is the best one we built in Florida. Like, to be honest, with all the drops, all, everything, the bowl is perfectly set. The fire pit is incorporated in the build, like literally in it. I had the fire going last night to see how it would look, and it looks sick. Almost caught the house on fire, too. But, <laughs> but it looks good, and I'm not even done yet. I mean, once I get this path done with rocks and uh, get some Adirondack chairs, I'll send you a picture. Actually, just pop it up right here. There you go. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm blown away. Man, what an awesome experience hanging out with my buddies sitting in this driveway before this was even running we were enjoying time with each other and that's what this is all about for me is time with people that i love to hang out with and this was just an, a great great build we had a power fun on this field maybe a little bit too much like jack said we could have got down a little fast but it was a lot of fun you know it's about the experience it's about having a good time with some friends and i agree with paul this pond really came out beautiful <laughs> We like to say a water feature turns a house into a home. What better thing than this in the entranceway to the front of this house? It's just absolutely spectacular. What's amazing to me is this was just grass three days ago. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, Greg. <laughs> All right. This was just grass three days ago, and now it's completely alive. Water is life, and when you add water, it really, literally, like I said, changes a house into a home. I love my job. All right, guys. Always a ton of fun coming down here to work with Paul and my friends, and even Greg. Why don't they push him in real yeah, quick? Yeah, that's a really good <sighs> Hope you enjoyed this build. Hit that subscribe button. Drop me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about Paul's brand new first pond at the new house. Woo! And we'll see you on the next one.